These are Posca pens. Now you probably have heard of them, and I might be arriving to the party a little too late, but these are paint pens and apparently everyone's obsessed with them. And yeah, I think I am arriving to the party a little too late. But hey, I'm in love. And you know, I wanted to talk to you today about what's the big hype about Posca pens and why are they different from Sharpies, like the Sharpie paint pens. First, let me tell you how to track these down because they're kind of hard to purchase now and then, especially after Christmas. Michael's has been out of Posca pens, the packages and everything like online. But that is where I got my first Posca pens. I got your basic, like the big, the big bold tips and then the medium tips. They didn't have that many of the fine tips that you're seeing right now. But Michael's has like little marker dispensers where you can buy them individually, but you can't buy them in packages anymore. I did find this really big package of the mini fine tip Posca pens on Amazon. Now they are very, very small, but I think they have a lot of paint in them. So that's where I got this ginormous package. You just saw me do the whole swatch scale of everything that came with it. And then I had my additional um, eight colors that I bought from Michaels. So these are really hard to track down. You can get them on the Amazon, Michaels, and I think Blick sells them as well. Don't know how much they are, but it's a possibility to go check that out as well to get them in case you want to try these out. I would highly suggest go to an art store that has these and an art dispenser so that way you can pick out a couple just to give it a try in case you like it, in case you don't. Or, you know, honestly, when I have ever worked with paint pens, it's never been really that much fun. I think the last time I worked with paint pens, I was signing my Uncle Tommy's race car. So he always had all his nieces and nephews come in with paint pens, you know, because paint pens are used on stuff around the house or, you know, poster projects at school. Nobody really thinks paint pens are used for actual art pieces, like I'm drawing right now with these two parrots. Nobody really thinks of that with paint pens. I mean, at least I didn't think of that until I started looking at a couple more videos of Posca pens or Pinterest has tons of Posca pen art inspiration. It's really fun to go and check it out. So you can see that these paint pens are kind of like a matte finish. And back to my story, the last time I worked with paint pens was at my Uncle Tommy's signing my name to his race car. I never thought of making art with paint pens. It just doesn't sound interesting enough. And I'm a huge fan of gouache paint, and I see a lot of similarities between gouache and Posca pens, and it's that matte finish that I really enjoy. And I don't know, maybe some people love satin finishes or like the glossy finishes, but I love matte finished artwork. And there are tons of art pieces with Posca pens that you can see with animals and they look like stickers and they're really fun to look at, at. So if you want to see some cool inspirations, go on to Pinterest and find a couple of examples and just inspirations if you want to get into Posca pens or not. But how I use Posca pens, I've been doing a lot of like dress designs using simplicity patterns. You know how simplicity patterns the, the for fabric, fabric, patterns if you don't know what i'm talking about hopefully you know what i'm talking about it looks like really awesome um 1950s 1960s 1970s a lot of the rendering of the costume designs or the patterns for the dresses that you're creating they're still done in the original artwork and i love the original artwork of all these girls dressed up in these beautiful dresses that you can like if you could make the dress and i know if i tried to make a dress with a sewing machine, I would just make it look atrocious, like, oh, well, what's this? It's a garbage bag, yes. But instead of making the actual dresses, I just love redrawing the actual dresses with my own spin. So this is a simplicity pattern dress. And I don't know, I don't know what pattern it is or whatever, but once again, Pinterest has tons of inspiration for simplicity. Like, and I've been drawing a lot of the men as well that have like the suit designs and just so I can practice a little bit more with drawing the men's, like, you know, their body types and the suits and just 
getting all the proportions right at least and that's a great way to look at that is the simplicity patterns for men and for women so it's just a great way to look at actual real pieces of artwork that are based off of real humans and they're proportionate they all look proportionate and the dresses and it helps you look at the folds and draw the folds so i've been doing that a lot and that's what i've been doing with the posca pens is i'm adding my own little twist so i used my warm grays my copic markers to kind of shade in the hair and the skin to make the posca art pop more and the paint pens pop more and i wanted to so you see i did this like pastel galaxy dress and this is what i love the most i loved shadowing or shading, <laughs> giving the shadows of the folds with a black pen in minimal places. And then I went in with a white Posca pen and I went in and I gave it the sparkles and I added the highlights again. This is what's cool about Posca pens. It just, it just pops off the page. But now I get it. I know why people are so obsessed with Posca pens now and why all this beautiful art was all over Pinterest. I actually got these back at Christmas time because you know Michaels was having its huge sales and I went back there and I grabbed a couple and I just went it was a Christmas present to myself like oh I gotta try these out and it's just been fun just decorating with them and coloring with them they're different they've got you see they've got kind of like it doesn't pick up the paper it's almost like from the actual felt tips of the paint markers so I don't know why it picks up the paper or it picks up whatever, but it's really fun. I've been experimenting with like watercolor and then Posca pens or just drawing like these dress patterns and then adding the Posca pens and making everything else black and white or warm grays. It's just fun. If you want to know a couple of tutorials on how I use Posca pens, for example, like these dress folds, leave in the comments down below. I'll actually have the comments section up for you to comment if you'd be interested in some tutorials on how I specifically use Posca pens. I hope you all have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Thank you for watching.